The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess gets an HD release on the Wii U. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here bringing you an unboxing video, of course, of this Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD plus the Wolf Link Amiibo. At the end of the video, I will be unboxing that Wolf Link Amiibo and giving it a review as well. Really excited for this to come out. I've wanted to play Twilight Princess again for a while. I had my Zelda-thon in December, but I didn't play very much of Twilight Princess. This is a great reason to do so. This released today on March the 3rd. It costs, I think, $70 in the United States, $80 in Canada, and this special set just has that Wolf Lick Amiibo with it, but it's pretty awesome that they do this for the Zelda games. So first of all, let's take a look at the box packaging. This thing has a nice gold aesthetic to it on the front with some of the great characters. You have the different incarnations of Link. You have Link obviously on Epona, and you also have Wolf Link with Midna riding with some of the other characters that I don't want to spoil too much. On the one side, it shows you what you get with the game and disc plus the Wolf Link amiibo. I think this says ages six and up as well. Some nice style packaging around the sides as well. I kind of like that. On the back, it says here, become a legend in HD. Play as the legendary hero Link and explore a vast, dangerous world. Only you can protect Hyrule from the shadow that is slowly creeping across the land. Journey across Hyrule with the Wii U gamepad controller. So you can access the map and you don't really interrupt your gameplay, but you can also just play exclusively on the gamepad if you're wondering. And the last thing is, with that Wolf Link amiibo, you can enter the new Cave of Shadows using only that Wolf Link amiibo figure. So that's pretty awesome. On the side, it tells you more information about the amiibo, which I'll get to at the end of the video. On the bottom, it just has this black style of packaging. And on the top, it does have this nice gold aesthetic to it as well with the Twilight Princess logo, the Amiibo logo, and it says Wolf Link and the Wii U symbol. All right, let's actually open this thing up. This one has a circle at the top, so I'm going to be pretty careful with my X-Acto knife to actually open this up for the first time. I don't like when there's the circle, but whenever I try and take off or remove the circles, I usually end up damaging it in some way. So for this time around, I am going to actually cut through that. I hate these little things right here at the top. I never want to cause damage to them, but getting them out can be very difficult. Especially when you don't want to cause harm to your package. And it usually does cause a little bit. Alright, so in here let's slide it out. And some collectors buy two of everything just for that reason. Really neat box, box packaging, so there we go. Leave that at the back. The Wolf Link Amiibo, just to give you an idea of what this looks like in the package. This thing looks really stunning. It feels pretty hefty too. This is probably one of the heavier Amiibo figures. One of the larger ones too. They actually have a platform on that. So I'll get to this more when we actually unbox it. But that's really neat. Here is the game itself. And of course, usually now there is no sort of manual with this. But the front cover looks absolutely amazing. It is nice that they actually updated this from both the GameCube and the Wii versions. So I am happy to see a different cover on this completely. Great artwork. Really like it. On the side it just says obviously the game title. The picture is the logo of both Link, I'll let that kind of focus in, there you go, of Wolf Link and Link, and on the back it says the same kind of information that you got on the back of the box. Alright, let's open up this, and I'm probably going to play this a little bit this weekend when I have some time, when I'm not doing all of my other kind of work. I think I'm going to go to one of my friend's houses out of town and hopefully put this in and start playing it. Because like I said, I really wanted a reason to replay this and I was waiting for this to come out. So yes, there's no manual, just that viewing the electronic manual. There is the disc for the game. Looks really cool as well. I love how they have the two different color tones on it with gold and silver for this. Looks really neat. And now let's get to the Amiibo figure. Put that one right there. Alright, this Amiibo figure. This looks absolutely fantastic. I like the box packaging. It's very unique to this one. Obviously, this is not part of any of the lines, so you don't see the Super Smash Brothers logo or the Super Mario logo. You just see the Legend of Zelda Wolf Link from Twilight Princess. So that's pretty awesome. Mine's a little bit of French too, it looks like. On the back, it says Adventure with Amiibo in the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Journey into the challenging cave of shadows. So it kind of tells you a bit more information of that. This is all a different language, so that's a little bit different than the other ones. So let's actually open this up again. I'll use my X-Acto knife and go around it. I do have a ruler, so I can tell you the exact size of this amiibo figure. It might be a little bit different than the other ones in terms of heights. Now I'm really excited to actually have a game to play that I might make time for, because like I said, life's been so busy, and I'm happy to be making videos more frequently again now that my computer hasn't blown up as bad as it was previously. Alright, one more Nick and then we'll have it. 
And then I will discuss what all of the other amiibo figures do actually within the game because a lot of the other ones, obviously, they do things inside of the game like restore hearts and actually make it more difficult to play through as well. So that's the best way I ever found to open this thing up and keep it in really good condition. I'm gonna leave that right there as well. So here we go. Wow, this one's very, very solid. Very steady. Just gonna leave that at the back. All right, so here is that Wolf Link Amiibo for the first time. This is a larger figure, of course. The stand looks tremendous with the Legend of Zelda symbol at the bottom of it. You can see all that detail work. The stand is also gold. It looks like it's the same size as all the other ones. The stone that Wolf Link is standing on is really creative because they needed to make this a little bit bigger, obviously, for him to actually stand because he's so wide. But the detail work on his fur is tremendous. The earring you can even see on the Wolf Link Amiibo looks great. I love the detail work in his face. I like how the mane looks really cool as well, just like from the game right here. You can see it. And all the fur looks like it's kind of etched. There is some, I'm not sure if it's patchwork or if that's supposed to be intentional on this guy right here with some seam issues, but that looks pretty good. And Midna looks exceptional. I love how Midna, there is so much detail work in Midna's head. You can see all that. Her, the eye looks amazing. And I really like how they used a clear plastic at the end. It kind of moves from not transparent or opaque to transparent at the end. That's a really neat amiibo. This is one of my favorite amiibo, especially because it actually has something to do in the game and it makes the game more worthwhile. In terms of height, this thing is four inches tall. It's pretty tall, and in terms of length, it is three and a half inches. For the rest of the world wondering about centimeters, it is nearly nine centimeters long. And in terms of height, I guess just shy of 10 centimeters. This is a very large amiibo. I definitely think this would be worth it if you can pick it up on its own if you don't want the actual game. This thing looks tremendous. It looks fantastic. I give this one a 10 out of 10. I'm very pleased as a fan from the Legend of Zelda series that they made this amiibo and that they actually took some time to make the Twilight Princess version of the game in HD much better. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So really well done Nintendo on this one. I really am a fan of this. Now let's discuss what the other amiibo do. So in case you're wondering, you can actually figure out what all the other amiibo do as the side of the box explains it. So you have Link of course, but Link comes in a few different variations. There's Toon Link and there's Regular, Le regular Link. Both of those will refill your arrows if you scan them in mid-game. Then beyond that you also have Zelda and Sheik. And when you use them, they will replenish your hearts. And then you have, of course, Ganondorf. Now, if you scan in him, he's a villain. So you'll take double damage when you scan in him. So this game, they had a lot of thought into it. The amiibo actually do have a purpose, it seems, within the game, which is pretty neat. I absolutely love this set. I think it's really worth it. I'm not sure if you're buying a re-release and it's worth the price of paying $80, but when you get a cool amiibo, when they upgrade it to HD, when they fix some components of the game and really put some thought into it, I think it's worthwhile. I really appreciate this release. But let me know your comments below as a Zelda fan or as a Nintendo fan. Do you think this is worth it? And what do you think of the Wolf Link Amiibo? Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill my... Feel free to fill the like bucket. Fill me, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all. Keep smiling while gaming. And I hope you enjoy The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD.